Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Today is Vlogmas Day 12, and guess what? I got a package. <laughs> I got a package in, and let's see. It came from, let's see. I thought I saw the name somewhere on the phone. There it goes, Bath and Body Works. <laughs> let's open it. Tissy move. Okay, guys. Let's see what is in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, if y'all watch us on Vlogmas Day One, y'all know Bath and Body Works uh, three wick candles went on sale for $8.95. And they usually run for $24.50. So you know I had to get some. <laughs> Not only did I went to the store, guys, I ordered online. So I guess this is going to be a Bath & Body Works unboxing and haul. So as y'all can see, I like already folded this because it has my address on here and that's too much information so i'm gonna show y'all what i got as y'all can see i got like seven things here and my total down here was like 74 dollars and 30 cents so if y'all know seven candles from there for 74 dollars and 30 cents oh that's a hell of a deal especially and then right now Kaden's over there. He's up. Kaden's still asleep. So he's still back there asleep. But Kaden, he's going to do this with me. So let's get into this. Okay, guys. So, and then, too, it came, it came in a cute little box. So, since it's Christmas, you never know, like, when you need a box to wrap something. And then, of course, I came with these air bubbles to protect the candles. So, let's see. First candle here. And I'm guys, I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. Okay, again, guys, bear with me. I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> so, anyways, the first candle right here is winter candy apple. Oh my gosh, I wish y'all can smell this. Like, guys, it smells so good. Oh, I love it. And then by it being cold outside, yes. So I have that one. Okay, so the next one is Ice Vanilla Woods. Guys, I wish y'all can smell this. It smells so good. And look at the packaging. I am like a sucker for packaging. And this is really why I picked this. It's, oh, let's see. Ice Vanilla Woods. It says, Ice Lavender, Sweet Vanilla, and Ebony Wood. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, let's let's see what the apple okay, is. The apple is candied apples, crisp pears, and oranges. Oh my gosh. That smells really good. And look who decides to wake up. Casey's here with us. Hi, Casey. Now I have both my babies in here to do my unboxing haul. Okay, next one I got was the mahogany teak wood, the high intensity. Oh, my gosh guys this candle is so smells so freaking good it smells so masculine but it's like a nice sexy bedroom smell like this is what you put in your bedroom or if you're a bachelor and you know you, you have that thing coming over because i'm pretty sure that's something roger would say you would put this in like you would like this candle so smells really good and this one it said high intensity i'm thinking about like the way it smells like stronger but it said this one is made with essential oils oh my gosh i wish i could smell this one all right guys that next one i got was the peach bellini and look at the packaging oh my gosh so ladies already know why i picked this this is my favorite like packaging i love that and this smells so good too, guys. This says it is made with salumphant white peach, sparkling, what is that? Prosecco, and then sweet orange. Oh my gosh, this smells really good too. 
these white barn candles is what I'm living for. Teak wood. And as y'all can tell, this one, the packaging is a little light black. This one is not as strong. Like this smells like mahogany teak wood smells good, but this one you can tell. And look, it tells you in the back of this one. Rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak, frost, frosted lavender with essential oils. I'm telling you guys, this smells so good. And like as y'all can tell the last one, let me show y'all side by side. So as y'all can see on camera, the high intensity one is a little bit darker. Like It's like tinted um, candle and this one's like that. This is like that illegal tint and this is that tint that cops get you away with. <laughs> so illegal tint is high intensity. It just smells like somebody just sprayed a whole bunch of cologne on. Like it's a little bit stronger than this. This is like a little bit lighter. So this is that man that sprayed cologne everywhere. And this is that man that put that cologne in his hit spot. <laughs> so that, I guess that's the best way to, you know, just describe the high intensity and the regular mahogany teak wood. I think it just is stronger. That's just it. But they both smell so lovely. Okay, so this one right here is called Cherry Frost, and as y'all can see, it's a holiday one with the snowflake at the top. It's like the same with the um, apple, I think. Oh, I don't think the apple was a um, holiday one, but this is a holiday one because you can tell at the top of the lids that the snowflake's so cute. But this, oh my goodness. What is it, Booger Bears? Okay, hold on, guys. Let me get him satisfied. Okay, so Cherry Frost is made with orange Jupiter essential oils with notes of white cherry and ginger. This smells really good. All right, last but not least, I got the Vanilla Bean Noil. Oh my gosh. And this is Vanilla Bean Marshmallow Fluff and Vanilla Cake. Y'all can also, like, this is another holiday one. Ooh, let's smell this. I, ha I haven't smelled it. Let me smell it. All right, so I'm going to smell it. I don't know. Like, it smells like a nice little frappuccino, like right when Starbucks open and they just freshly start brewing coffees. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. I would put this like in the kitchen, so not that bad. Now guys, who would like to see what, I haven't really even unpacked them though, but who would like to see what I got in store now? So like I said, I went in store and I bought seven candles, but I think in store was cheaper. I spent like 60 some dollars. So let's see what I got in here. So yes, yeah, by being December 12th, I also like already used some. I used two and let me show you those two that I've Here used. on the computer desk, I got frosted cranberry. I have like, since it's like a nice Christmas smell, I put it here in the living room. So that's what I got in store and let's see what this one's made with. Okay, this one is made with cedar wood, orange essential oils with notes of ice cranberries. This is a very nice Christmas smell, so. I got this one in store. Okay, I got the Spice Apple Today. This is another holiday one. It says made with cinnamon and clove essential oils with notes of warm apple brandy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like, yeah, here's my receipt from the day. And look, it says I spent a total of $73.82, but with tax. So, really I good. bought the same amount of candles in store. Oh, but then I also got um, some, what is these, hand sanitizer. Roger said he needed some more. Let me show you those first. So Roger got some of these man hand sanitizers for like work. And this is the Nord for man. And then they have the Ocean for man. He got two of those. And guys, I'm sorry y'all can hear the babies crying. Like they, <laughs> they want attention right now. And I'm trying to hurry up and do this whole unboxing. And look, I got the Merry Cookie. I got the Holiday Hand Sanitizer. And so the candles I got from the store, I got the watermelon lemonade. And this is made with watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. And then I got also, gosh, this smells good too. This is like a, what is this? Pineapple mango. Oh my gosh. And this is fresh pineapple juice, mango, vine ripened raspberries. Oh, that smells so good too. Then this is a nice man scent too. Like this is a good um, bedroom candle. Beachside oak 
sea wash mahogany and ocean lavender that smells so good and look at the packaging it's so cute and then this one it is the midnight blue citrus this smells good too this is made with juicy citrus fresh spring water and sweet mango what i've been using in my bathroom bedroom is this black cherry merlot oh my gosh this is a nice smell too this is dark cherry black raspberry sumptuous merlot with essential oils really good so all right everybody i'm back and guess what guess who's home guess who came home because they missed their wife Someone was like, you know what? I miss you, babe. I'm going to tell my boss I'm ready to come home so I can see you. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you didn't have the camera. I hope you didn't have the camera. You lie. I hope you didn't have the camera. Did you miss me? No, Did I missed, you? I missed, I missed the, I missed the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, do y'all remember when I said Roger plays this game? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Raj, this is the game of the year, ain't it? Is this the game of the year? You really gonna have me talking like a nerd right now? I'm is not, this the game of the year? No, I'm not going into nerd mode right, right now. Guys, just be you. If you is nerd, you is nerd. If if I'm nerd, then I'm nerd. Nerd is you. Nerd is me? If you are nerd, nerd is you. And you say what? What's the question? Is. Is. Red Redemption. Game of the year. Um... It's kind of hard to say game of the year because everybody can't play it. Yeah, everybody like everybody ain't played it. I think it's the game of the year. Yeah, but I'm about to say it's not suitable for children. It's not. A, God of War was a, was a, was a hell of a good game. Let me see your dude though. Yeah, I got broke. I, got broke. <laughs> I told you, don't this dude look like um look like Django? I look like Django. I'm gonna grow me a mustache like this. No, like you actually already got it. You just gotta build the top. I'm gonna get a mustache like no, this. No, if you, we're not gonna walk around together. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go out and be a model. I'm gonna <laughs> Wait, model hold on, cut. We're gonna go to the next scene. Let me see your runway walk. Runway walk? Yes. Give it to me, honey. Uh, 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 uh. Now turn on them. Cameras are flashing, cameras are. <laughs> What was that? It looks like you gotta go take a doodle. -doo. <laughs> okay, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Ask me that question you just asked me. Do you trip about me playing video games? No. Why? Because I feel like that's just your hobby. That's what you like to do. Just, and and that's just what this is what I like. Yeah. Some people like dope dealing. <laughs> Some people like going to the club. Some people like cheating on people. I just like games. That's, that's just me. I like video games. It saves me money. And it keeps me away from all the BS and all the trouble and stuff. I guess. Um, but so, I mean, like, I can see why yes. women may say, oh my gosh, this dude plays the game all the time. We, we, really, we really do need a podcast because there's so many ideas that goes on in my head and her head on what we can talk about. But that's another story, you know, down the line, down the line. But no, for real though, like I think, I think in, in your relationship, I think when you first start talking to somebody, that's the time when you get to know somebody and you can't wait five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years down the line to say, you know what? I have an issue with something you've been doing ever since before I talked to you. I don't know why people do. I'll and pay, I wish you would stop. Like that though. I've had that's like, like that. okay, for an example, that's probably not a good example. Like when dudes go talk to a stripper, right? And they fall in love with the stripper. Then they tell the stripper, can you stop stripping? And she looks at him and she's like, dude, I've been stripping before I even met you. This is how we met. Yeah, some yeah, some cares. I mean, some cares are like that though. And I don't really think that I don't know, like, that type of feel, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people nowadays don't look at it like, like they used to look at it. Back in the day, it was kind of bad dating the stripper. Got a bad name. But, you know, it's the same change. thing, like, you can't own a pit bull because pit bulls got bad names. Yeah, 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 it's almost like that. But you know? if you had a pit bull, you like, there ain't nothing wrong with a pit bull. I mean, just like with the stripper, at the end of the day, she, she got to make her money. Okay, and half these strippers are going to school. 
So like Yeah, you know, she got It's a go. hustle. I feel like it's a hustle and that's just what she did. It's like hustle and grind. By any means, do you know, do what you gotta do to survive. And that's that's just the way the world is, man. Like with a drug dealer. Like with a dope boy, you know what I'm saying? Dope boy serve. Or like with somebody that sells a fish plate. <laughs> that's just yeah, how they know how to hustle. That, that, that's just they hustle. That's just them, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Just gotta figure out your hustle, man. And like this is your hobby, playing video games. Like my hobby is shopping. Your yeah, hobby is shopping. So I can shop for anything games, and everything. What video games, shoes. I love shoes. I love purses. I love good. What you about to say? That was about to go. No, nah, see, see, get, see, get your mind out the gutter. See, get the mind out the gutter. Y'all thinking the wrong thing. Hey, my arm is hurting. Can we cut this? No. No, I gotta go. My arm is hurting. Okay, well, anyways, guys, we gotta go because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done around the house and it's gonna be kind of hard to vlog and do yeah. all that. So, babe, what are we gonna tell them? Holla. Holla, holla. Yep, and make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Stay tuned to the fifth wheels because we're blowing up.